morning and welcome to our brand new workbook trains so this is a 96 page workbook all about trains this was a bit of a labor of love um titch is super into trains at the moment and he is so excited to start this so i'll just show you what's involved so we have coloring pages we have information pages and then for the information pages run throughout and then each information page um, has correlating worksheets alongside it so these are about trains and then there's a place to stick their favorite trains in and then there's about the first trains and as you can see there's like original photographs and way to write their own newspaper report on it so the worksheets we've tried to keep varied to keep them interesting and um, it's not all writing as well i'll show you in a bit so this is the history of trade so it goes from the 1600s and up until present time and then um, for this one it's a cut and stick so you cut these bits out put them in order and then stick them in order there and then about steam trains and this goes into how steam engines work as well the science behind it and then as you can see there's a label there's a label of the different parts and then a bit there where they can match the parts and just learn about the different areas for doing that this here they can describe how a steam engine works with visuals then you can take a trip to a steam railway a working steam railway i cannot wait to do this i kind of like let's go this weekend um i think titch is going to be in his absolute element with this again obviously it's adaptable so please feel free you could stick in photographs they could draw things if they want to write they could do it as a journal they could write about something they've seen or something they've learned and um, it's for you to use as you wish um, and then stick in images of the favorite locomotives then we've got some songs that are based upon steam train we've got about the locomotive fireman and engineer and their roles and there's build a locomotive so for this you could do like junk modeling bits or you could use chicken wire and mold it into a locomotive shape and then use paper mache to build the skeleton like the structure of it um, and then paint it but yeah i'll leave that up to you and then there's a uh, george and robert stevenson about who they are about the and the rocket and then there's some fat files on them then we have Brunel fat file on him and then stem build a bridge challenge then we've got about electric trains and diesel trains and then compare contrast the three following page and then we have about the underground and so we've got another song going under drought i mean who doesn't love the jam <laughs> and then for this it's a so you could either write the bits underneath or you could cut this bit out and then stick them to match them up you need to print off a map of the underground here um, and stick it in and then you can use that to plan journeys using the map route so it just gets them into thinking about journey planning as well and picking up those life skills and looking at maps and reading maps and understanding how they work then there is types of different trains i think it's nine there's nine different types that we've got in here and then this one is name that train so we have the names at the top and they've got to pick out which one is which we have sleeper trains i have a friend that went on a sleeper train last year and it just sounds absolutely amazing it sounds so much fun and um, so i think i'm hoping we can maybe do this at some point in the future i think titch would love it so this one is writing a diary account so this is more a sort of creative writing unless you've been on a sleeper train which would be amazing but um if not 
this would be more a creative writing activity like thinking about what it'd be like and um, what you might do how you might feel then just sticking in trains around the world then we get to the record breakers so here they can pick up their favorite free fav favorite free record breakers and record about them there then this is the largest train station in the world and they can like the words here to fill in the information then we've got about driverless trains this is a match they've got to match up which one actually and then magnetic levitation trains i didn't even realize this was a thing like oh my goodness they just sound it sounds so sci-fi and high tech but yeah there we go there's the magnetic levitation train and then there's people who work on the railways and then they can write a job role for one of the jobs train signals train announcements and they can plan their own train announcements or record their favorite train announcements there's train timetables with this one it's a little bit of math so it's looking at the train timetables and then working out which is which and the time differences and things like that and we've got train tickets so they can create their own train tickets model railway you can plan a model railway train spotting i have a feeling we will be doing this a lot in the near future um so a creator train post on train spotting and saying safe safe train spotting and then a chance to go train spotting recording what you see and then a tick list so with this you could either do a tally or you could tick it off of things you've seen when at the train station then planning trains of the future what you think they'd look like or what you want them to look like and then train facts and then we've got some resource ideas of course you don't have to buy them all they're just um ones that you might enjoy if you wanted to look into it a bit further there's a film and book review and then we've got some train poems these are poems based on trains this is my favorite from a railway carriage it's absolutely beautiful and um, i think gonna love it so with the poems um i've left it open so you can decorate the page you could just read them they could do some copy work if there's a favorite line or um verse they could fill it out beneath and um, you've got the lines behind which would help with that and then there's a create your own train poem so again it's thinking more creative writing skills as well and um, with this i was trying to bring in different different types of learning skills that they might not necessarily always want to take part in um like art and things um but make it fun and are based around a topic they really like and um, obviously if they don't want to do say they don't want to do the poetry or the art you please feel free to leave it out but um i just wanted to give you the option then so we've got the train art here so there's several different pieces um in a variety of different styles And then a chance to make their own train art and then a chance to write plan the, make their own train game and then at the end we've got a word search and a maze to keep it fun and then certificate of achievement so once they finish they can fill that out and feel like they've really achieved something and a collector's card so hopefully I'm all jogging away to come and get it <laughs> um i'd love to know what you think so yeah trains thank you bye